You can catch me in the eyes always. I'm a scholar. Oh, we back. Man. Oh, and we back, man. We got a crazy, crazy couple of weeks. Crazy, man. Crazy. 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 We got to start out like that. Tell you, man. Tell you. Look at the margarita I made. Margarita, you get boozy. God damn. The margarita store. What's that? What, what type of margarita is that? That's a uh, Cosmigos with a little bit oh, of lime. You feel me? And put it in the shaker and all that. But uh, you know what? I <laughs> I can see Jody in a good mood making goddamn margaritas and shit and shaking. Nah, man. But everything been cover static. No, I know you've been having a crazy couple of weeks, man. It's just yeah, good. man. Yeah. Be back live, man. We we back we back and better, man. And uh, so what what we gonna talk about today, man? What we gonna start off, man? Well, I think it's interesting for us to talk about this due to the fact that we have a platform. But how like just the state of everything now, as far as like not being able to necessarily have an opinion on anything anymore without like backlash or you you yeah. know cancellation culture, kind of like how we talked about before. But to me, it's different now because. Um, I kind of look at it from a new perspective. Like somebody was, I seen Marlon Wayne's tweet, like, you're not going to get any good comedy movies anymore. No, you, I, won't. you won't. And I realized why, like, like, I don't know, like it was, it was small, but it was big to me. Cause I'm like, damn, like, why is that? Like, if you go, we can only go look at like classic movies for like straight comedy. Like the new shit that comes out is not funny. It's not man. funny. Cause nobody wanna be offended no more, bro. Yeah, like, like I ain't gonna hold you. I was just saying, like, white chicks is one of the funniest movies. And it's literally just going on white girls, like a typical blonde white girl. Literally. If if you made that shit nowadays, they'd be like, Oh, you're trying to make fun of what if what if we did that with the black people? It's like bro, Yeah, literally, like what if we did that to black people? What if we y'all did, did that black shit black back in the past already? It's our turn. We just try to have fun with it. We ain't we ain't even going, you know what I'm saying? Go overboard. We just having fun. I do, but so so you feel like right now it's just like everybody's very sensitive, like as far as like the content that they see. Not like, okay, sensitive is a strong word. I don't want to say sensitive because you can't tell nobody how to feel. Like, that's that's not what I'm trying to do. I just think that, like, people don't necessarily look at things as, like, jokes anymore. Like, nothing is a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, even if somebody no. could be off some, you know, like, to me, I always look at context of it. If you joning on somebody, you know what I'm saying, you say something that, you know, like, you been, then... I don't think you should take offense. Now that may be due to the fact that the culture that I come from, like where like joining on people and yeah, you, know, you just get used to it after a while. Yeah, it's accepted. So you know that's kind of the stance in which I come from because it's like, like, damn, I know when shit is a joke. Like it's certain stuff that yeah, I feel like you could be derogatory and directly trying to hurt somebody. But if you join it and if it's in the context of like making jokes, I, you know I don't necessarily see the issue, but. I don't know, like that's just how I look at it. I feel like I don't know. I'm gonna say people sensitive, cause like I know you can't tell them how a certain way to feel, but I can tell you a certain way not to feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, a lot of the shit that's put out is for like entertainment. Like a lot of people will take it way overboard. Like you said with comedy. Think about if the Office came out now. That shit would be terrible. It wouldn't even happen. It wouldn't even happen. It'd be canceled after the second season. That's a great series. I watch this shit to this day. <laughs> but like, think about it, bro. People take a little bit of like jokes as too personal, as very malicious. And it's like nowadays, even celebrities and shit, you can't even tweet, you can't even post pictures of certain stuff without facing a certain backlash. And I think it's really because people feel as though you have to, they 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 seek for approval too much, and they feel as though that you have to feel this way. Or you're wrong, or you have to look at it a certain way. Or you're wrong because certain people feel some type of way. It's like it's a it's a cold world out here. Get adjusted to it. Don't try to keep trying to sensitize and stuff because it's not how life is. You know what I'm saying? Because like, grand if it's in the media and something happens like that, you, you can backlash and whatever the case is. If you're in real life and you gotta go through, let's say somebody say something certain shit, you don't know how to react. You can't just bash them or some shit. That you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's just like, I feel as though we miss 
some of the most important messages because we focus on some of the minor things that we may personally feel attacked about. You know, because like a show can have something major, but they can throw in one joke and it gets canceled, taken off, or whatever the case is. Yeah. Or like even like even if somebody I, explaining something like within the joke, like they'll literally clip that joke and boom, like canceled. exactly. <laughs> Everything is negated. Cause, cause like, and I ain't, and I ain't saying I'm with Kanye. I ain't saying I'm with Ye, but like certain shit that he would even say, right? Would like get misconstrued. Cause he he will fuck up though. He'll fuck up and say some shit that's a little bit overboard. But I'm just yeah, that's the first person. To articulate his thoughts as far as relaying the message. Like I think right. we can all speak to that. Yeah, and that's the thing though. We won't give a person a chance to articulate their thoughts because we're so focused on a segment that they said, just a, a certain part, like you said, I'm going to clip out this part because you said this shit, but yeah. fuck what you got to say after. You know what I'm saying? G shit. So I don't know. It's, it's a little it's a little weird, man. I know they get my boy Kyrie hell right now. Yeah, and, and I think it's like, don't get, that's what I'm saying. The reason why I feel like it's important that we speak on this is because like we in the media and it's like, you do got to find a balance because you know what industry you work in. Like, right. and I feel like that's what people like try to ignore, but it's the truth. Like you do got to be conscious of what you say because everybody's offended about, about everything. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if more people would just like provide context with where they coming from, then I feel like you should be entitled to have your opinion. Like there's certain things that I see out here that people getting bashed on. This is one tweet on uh, Twitter that uh, I seen a nigga uh, tweet. He was like, when you agree with some of the shit that they be uh bashing people on Twitter for. Like, oh, yeah. like basically, like when you really be like that, like I was that person, but y'all oh, yeah, I'm with them type shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say that because I won't get grilled. And I feel like that's just a, a bad space to kind of be in, you know what I'm saying? Cause right. if you feel that way, and like you genuinely feel that way, you should have the right to feel that way. I don't think you should feel pressured into feeling differently. No, and I feel like that is what they constantly will, what, I'm not going to say anybody in particular, but I feel like that's just the narrative now. Like, they constantly want you to feel bad for how you actually feel. And I think that shit is weird. No, I'm with you with that shit. Because, like, even with the whole situation with, um, damn, even, like, we can look at Dwayne Wade and his ex, you know what I'm saying? Bro, hold on, before you get yeah. in that, that's some real shit. I was looking up on that earlier. That's it was just like a situation where it's just like everybody entitled to their own opinion where it should be respected. I feel like, right? We both created this person, and I ain't gonna hold you. I and I ain't got nothing against uh Dwayne Wade's decision as well for his daughter, you know what I'm saying? But man, time with the mother. I feel as though at time I as as far as waiting until you're 18 to get the sex tan, and I don't want to go into depth with that one. But it's just yeah. like, I feel like I was conflicted. Like you said, you look on Twitter, you agree with somebody. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, am I, am I the fuck that nigga right now? Cause no. like, cause I may, maybe it's probably the way that we, you know what I'm saying? That we, we thinking, but I think both thought processes have to be respected. Cause there's some people that was with the mother, some people that's against. Right. I was just saying like, I understand where she coming from as far as making sure a, a child goes through things and understand life before they make a, a, a decision that's gonna change or affect your entire life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, I and, and it's like, we came at it, we come in a, a type of world where it's just like, opinions aren't respected. It's either right or wrong. And that ain't how we live, bro. That ain't like a lot of situations just like, all right, if you feel like that, I respect you. I ain't gonna put you down, but that's how you feel. That's how I feel, fuck it, we move on. That's how shit should be. That's how I look at it. Understand how boring the world would be if we if, all felt alike. Man, man. That man. shit is boring. I'm telling you, though. If, if y'all like, that's what I be trying to like, like to, in my opinion, get people to realize like we should value that other people have different opinions. Like you should try to hear where this thing is coming from. It'd be some outlandish shit. And like, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, yeah, it may not make sense to me, but in this nigga head, it makes sense. Right. Honestly, if like that really all it come down to, like we we individuals, I feel like they're trying to have this like community mindset. And now, like I feel like people should continue to be individuals. Like if you think differently, if you don't necessarily agree with some, 
don't you you know what I'm saying you shouldn't feel pressure to do it because for example like that woman could have been raised in a I know I come from a a, a Christian background my mom took me to church so like I remember growing up stuff like that wasn't necessarily accepted I'm gonna keep I'm it on like it wasn't accepted and you know if you grew up in that and that is what you viewed as your morals you're not like that's what your background is in so right. if you have a a son originally and you know they feel that they're a girl like you might not even understand that like you literally might need somebody to literally and, and yeah she could probably take the steps to try to understand um you know her daughter now like you know daughter but at that moment people act like she's not human right and, and right that might hurt her based on how she grew up with her background you feel me like that it's okay for her to be hurt about that and i just want to point out it's, it's not, like when you just said she's not human i feel as though people got to understand that and that's just not like with that situation and many situations where it's just like you can't see eye to eye or somebody do something they thought a different process than what you is we all human like you said we all suppose we all supposed to think differently. God made us differently in every possible way for a fucking reason. You know what I'm saying? And they made us made us different for a way, and we gotta realize just embrace that. You don't gotta think the same way. Everybody's human, and that just goes for like. And what make it even worse is just like when you're a celebrity, you're a, a figure. All your decisions are kind of criticized right now. Let, let, let's take a rogue, man. Let's take a rogue. Come on, pull one up. And that, and because this is this is like an important topic though, as far as like people just being able to express themselves, and then everybody not, I guess, not feeling a certain type of way. Like as far as just being able to fully understand a person before they judge a person, because I think that's where the, the, everything leads to. Like you want to be quick to judge, and I think maybe social media is responsible for that, because you see nowadays you got the TikTok and shit, you got Twitter. When somebody say something wrong, or something, say it do something, they gonna focus emphasize on the negative part, and just try to get the attention of everybody else and shit. So I don't know. I think that I think that's always been a thing, though. You know, obviously, you know, being a celebrity, you in a, a different spotlight, so everything you do is gonna be like highly criticized. Because obviously, if it was coming from like a regular person, it wouldn't be getting as much um attention. But I I look at it as as well. They should be able to be viewed. You know, one thing like I realized, especially living here in Atlanta, and you know, a lot of the like culture, like hip hop culture is here. They live here. They kind of be they be outside, and you yeah. you, you really realize that these are people. Like they so they may like appear as bigger than you know world beings because you know like they obviously have a lot of money and cars and clothes, whatever the case may be. But like. When you be around them, you realize like, damn, like these is just people. Like, Regular human being like us. Who are not above mistakes. And like, people just had this perfect perspective like when they talking about shit, but they don't be perfect. Like who's perfect is, you, like you don't got flaws. You know what I'm saying? For and sure. it's like, I don't know. I just want us to kind of get into a direction of, Really just understanding, like, if somebody has an opinion, what's wrong with hearing them out? You may disagree. You don't have to hear it again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's what people act like they can't do. Like, I could, you and I disagree all the time, like, and we just leave it as it is. Like, we just going right. to disagree. Like, it is what it is. There's no harm in that. And I feel like that is the approach I feel can better us for the future because I think that's how you learn, though. Because at the end of the day, Talking to certain people who I might not, who I might have had an opinion on initially, and then like once I had a conversation with them, realized that they can then offer me actual some valuable things in life. Yeah. Like damn, like I'm glad I wasn't being standoffish or I wasn't just disregarding them because you know I didn't necessarily value you, uh, their opinion or I thought my opinion was law. But yeah. I feel like the world too is in a hypocrite. Like they just hypocrites. I'm be honest. Like the world is hypocrite. A hundred percent, because it's like <laughs> if you you can't be right at all. You can't. Yeah, right. like, there's no, there's no way around it. Like if you feel as though if you have an opinion on something, someone's like, oh, you can't have that opinion because X, Y, Z. And then I think 
another thing is an important thing that you said was like mistakes in life like everybody made mistakes it's even if we're wrong but we think that we are it's it's the time that you uh, in, enlighten somebody instead of bashing them you enlighten them you educate them uh-huh yeah i'm with you like inform oh, yeah. Yeah, like inform, that. yeah that, that's what we fuck up at we always quick to bash instead of trying to inform instead of trying to help that person out and and while we on the topic of like mistakes too right first we, we definitely gonna have to take a rogue for for this one right here but a mistake that should have ever happened should never ever happen according to her stories rumors you know all we can hear is like what everybody was putting out, because ain't nothing really been confirmed. So first, we're going to roll you for my boy Take Off. Listen, Pete Take, man, that shit really hit home, man, for real. They used to say D look like him, no fun. Hey, man. hey, I said, I said, look, man, they ain't got my twin, man. God dang. <laughs> and the thing is, though, Brody, it's like, I, let me, let me say something about that, though, before. Because the reason why I say motherfuckers is hypocrites, though, is because you are sensitive to somebody's opinion, but you're not sensitive to sh to uh, showing somebody laying dead on the ground, debilitated. Like, how, how, make your mind up. That's what I. That's why I be. That's what I was really referring to with the hypocrites and shit. Y'all can really watch the nigga pull your phones out as he's literally laying there dying. Yeah, and you are not sensitive to that, but you are sensitive to somebody. Necessarily something. joking or saying something verbal. It's just like make it make sense. Like yep. niggas be on straight bullshit. That's why I don't be paying attention to none of the shit that people be saying, none of the shit these things be saying, because they don't even know what they think. They, they don't. Do nothing. And then a lot of things is uh, with these deaf people don't understand. You got family members who are looking at this. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit hurt. And like I understand it until I, I went through it. When you see the aftermath of it, and you like looking at it, it's like, damn, that shit gets traumatizing for some people. You know what I'm saying? So what, like seeing that, and then this thing, you see different videos coming out. And one thing we gotta stop, please, is stop the conspiracy stories. Like, please, let's stop. Like, if you see it, you see the video, and we all looking at these videos. Let's stop these conspiracy stories. Funny, people. I really do. I, I don't. I don't even think they, they. I think they think they're gonna come up. Of this death because that's the popping thing that's up. And if they come up and make it kind of make sense, people gonna kind of start listening to them. I don't know. I mean, it all depends though, man. I just like even with like even with that, right? Even with that, like what's like being sensitive to death, I think we need to be more sensitive to like we sensitive to a lot of other stuff. We sensitive like, to the wrong shit. To be what, and that's our opinion, though. You feel me? Like that's what we discussing. Like that's that we. I feel the same way. Like we we more sensitive to like motherfuckers comments on like the way that like you know things are versus like damn this is somebody who passed away. Like we just seen PMB Rock die. Like we literally seen him dying. Now we just come back what a month later, and now we just see take like take off. And they ain't gonna hold you. Those are like, and it's like. Damn, it's, and it's like critical figures. And I would say like, and, and but you really think about it, and me and your college, like our college, like career, whatever, both of them kind of played a huge role. Cause but Amigos- that, hey, oh, No, yeah, I about to say that Migos one though. That that wave, that That's was just like, that was the car, like literally culture when they came out, literally changed the whole car, the perspective, the spectrum of the culture at that point, right? And then PNB was just like, Personally, like we all just rock with PNB, yeah. but like with Takeover, just like dang, and it's not even saying like you had to be a high figure for it to really hit home or, or really to play to be like, I guess to to be acknowledged to the fact that we need to stop, we need to be more sensitive, we need to do that with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because like if you're just sitting there watching somebody leak out, not calling nobody. <laughs> Man, even I be saying that shit on Twitter. My bad. I just gotta say this. Like, I have real had to tell niggas stop sending me videos of people dying. No, like, bull, I, I bull. don't want to see that shit. No, I bull, don't want to see nobody just getting shot, laying out, dying. I'm t like, that's what I'm saying. We have to. We need to start getting more sensitive to that because it's like, if we don't respect life or we're not sensitive to literally like life, then like, how can we be sensitive to other things? 
Like, and I think the one thing we also need to be sensitive of having is, is the mixed stories that gets released about what happened and what went down. Because to this day, we still don't know what went down. I didn't heard, I didn't see so many different stuff about. But I like, it though. I ain't gonna I lie. Like, I like, I like people. I like people speculating because, like, yeah, like it's opinionated. Like you got that right. Like everybody, I ain't gonna hold you. Everybody think they're a private investigator, D. Man, time. Everybody think they work for the CIA on Twitter. Man. People really try to be Twitter investigators, and it's like people come up with these different theories and opinions because it's like I ain't gonna hold you. Some stuff obviously is just outlandish, like some of the conspiracy theories. But there's some stuff that's gonna be like, eh, it kind of makes sense, maybe, but nah, this is just a right. stretch. You know what I'm saying? Like all that, but it's cool though. Like w- these are conversations that I don't think is a problem to have, but it's about respect though. I don't think you should like say things disrespectful in that regard, or like specifically, like you know what I'm saying? Like just be, just be wild, just be wild, just. Hey, your opinion. You got a thought process. Don't disrespect nobody or disrespect the life of the person who's passed. You know what I'm saying? Correct, correct. And I think I don't know. The only reason why I say is that I personally don't like it when it's like a mixed story. Is because now you get a different people involved into something, or you, or now it's just like from the person who kind of like did them with it. Now their name is not, or whatever happened is not being displayed correctly, and it could paint a picture on somebody's death. You know what I'm saying? On the person it who died. Be a good girl. It could, it could be like you, you could pay that somebody could die like a good way. Not saying take off way. We, I'm using for another example, but someone could die a certain type of way, and then someone could paint that picture and make them be the villain. So now they remember this that. So that's the only reason why it's like with me. I'd rather before like. Let like don't say nothing. Just send your condolences, and just wait till it really come out. Cause you don't never know what you know. What I'm saying you don't want nobody to feel no way or paint a picture in, in in a different type of light. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this though, and be real. Okay, cool. When PNB Rock, when we heard PNB Rock Girl was basically oh the, the reason behind it. Every single person, even us, became private investigators. A hundred. Is the one you know what I'm saying, and that's what I mean. Like, it's nothing wrong with speculating because we are all entitled to an opinion. Like, we look at things like, hey, like we have the right to evaluate something based upon the information that's given. So, if we looked at a situation and we was like, dang, that kind of looked a little sketchy, ain't no, even though we was wrong, we was wrong, ain't nothing wrong with that though. Right, but hold on, but let me tell you, what- I didn't, you though. I didn't, I wasn't about to sit here and bash her. Like, I ain't gonna go. Niggas was real at her on Twitter. And, 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 just- and that's and that's what I was gonna say. My bad, not to cut you, but I just wanted to go with that point where you just said that they was real. Like, that's the negative point. Imagine that you're grieving that the this is the father of your only child, your the love of your life. This guy killed in front of you. That shit traumatizing already. And he uh, got killed protecting you because he was over top of you from what she said. So imagine trying to go through that, trying to process that. You have so many people DMing you saying, fuck you. Like, it should have been you instead of him, X, Y, and Z. You got all those people saying that. And then you even got uh, celebrities like Kodak were just like, oh, yeah, X, Y, and Z to shorty. Kodak fans is now like X, Y, and Z to shorty. So now... You got all this hate. When do you ever get like give somebody time to cope? That's the only reason why I say before all these stories and, and things come out, understand you may be affecting somebody else because then I ain't gonna hold you. That shit's so hard to cope. You look on the ground, you getting you getting like hate, like hate texts, you look on Twitter, you look on shit. They might have probably seen her in public and, and made it say something to her. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I meant earlier, though, about like not being malicious, though. Like, okay, it's the difference between having an opinion and being like, like evil. Like, you real, I ain't gonna hold you. You, you calling this person out their name without proper context, telling them, like, you know what I'm saying? That's evil. Like, you literally going out your way to go on this person. You voicing your opinion. I seen some people tweeting, was like, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if Shorty did it or not, but like, I just know that shit looks sketchy. That's, and that's fair. That's fair. You feel me? That's fair. Right. But you going at her, calling her a bitch, or calling her out her name, or whatever the case may be, saying you wow, you got him killed. That's just evil. 
Because I ain't going to hold you. Like you said, that's the mother of his kids. She, she was with him. You know what I'm saying? That's, but people ain't sensitive to that, though. They sensitive to motherfucking, if I was to say, all the people who rioted the Capitol was fucking, like, uh, terrorists for real. Oh, I'm wild because, I, like, for real, like. No, you you absolutely saying right. And I think a, a, a important thing that we can kind of, like we can grasp from all the like the conversation, just like it's respect. This have being able to respect the opinions and not having to try to push yours into somebody else or try yeah. to like you know what I'm saying. For, like because even with the PNB Rock situation, like you said, if I feel this way, I can just respect how I feel and I don't have to bash them. I don't have to come out. I don't have to express nothing. I'm gonna respect what I got and I'm gonna move on. You know what I'm saying? Everything don't require action. Everything doesn't. And I think that's what we fail to realize. We kind of give action to the wrong shit. Because when it's something that actually goes down, like black people dying, like uh, people wrong, wrongful deaths. I'm not even just going to stop at blacks. But wrongful deaths in, in general, right? We don't speak up enough about that. But somebody can say the wrong thing or because you think that you came to a conclusion, let's say about a death, and you think you about to be like the next TMZ, the next whatever. You just going to throw it out there and then make everybody hate them? Come on, bro. Like, let's stop. Like, just keep your opinion. And I feel like that's what we, I think that's a lost trait that we got. Having opinions be, be okay. having thoughts be a thought and right. not be an action. That's what the fuck that I think we lost that. And nowadays, I'll go ahead. I'm going to be honest. We lost that with Twitter. Twitter, Twitter made it okay for you to make everything an action because it's public. Like that's, that's the thing about the world we live in now. Like everything is public. So everybody got an opinion. Like everybody ain't, and, and, that, and that's what I was, you know, I'd be explaining. Everybody, not good people. Bad people, evil people got Twitters. You feel me? Like. Let's, let's do a roll because you just hit a, a great point with the Twitter shit. Cause I, I'm gonna I'm I'm pick it back after you done. Take one more for that. Whew. Yeah, man. But nah, for real, like, it's, it's, it's good people on Twitter. It's evil people on Twitter. It's people who got morals who don't. You know what I mean? It's a plethora. It's a billion motherfuckers on there. So if you, like, when people be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, this getting a certain amount of retweets. I expect, I believe there's a percentage of the people in the world who think like this. And I believe it's... Right percentage you think the opposite way and i think it's some who think different agree disagree but there's so many different things but like it's okay that we don't agree on that it's all right like dead ass i remember i did ass remember like and i ain't even saying this to be funny i'm dead ass i remember i i seen somebody who liked donald trump and niggas just kept going on him and I'm like, why this nigga can't like Donald Trump? If he got his reasons why he liked Donald Trump, you ain't gotta like Donald Trump. Right. Let me let and like let let's learn from that shit. Like let's see what the fuck is wrong. Like what's his problem? Is, because it I don't I, like to me, I look at shit like I think it's interesting being a black person to like Donald Trump. Like you have to, I'm curious to see why you like Donald Trump because yeah, yes. every like most black people do not, will not like him. Like, you know, he's you feel me? So for you to like him, I'm interested more so than going on you. Why you like him? Tell me. And that's why, and that's the same thing like out here, right? Where I'm talking to somebody and I'm just like, you know, they like, you know, I'm I'm fucking with Obama. They like, I, I don't fuck with Obama. I hate Obama. Worst president ever. I could have been trying to bash him because I can be real prideful. Black first black president, right? That's yeah. I feel like it's some racist Listen, we protect we protect Obama like he did. Yeah, like, you, you feel me? So like we, I could have went, I could have feel some type of way when at that. I'm like, no, nah, you know what? Let me sit down and understand why, and then learning where his culture from because he's from Cuba and he came over. So learning why he don't, and it's like, damn, okay, well, I never even think I didn't even think that y'all had to go through that in Cuba and try to, you know, what I'm saying X, Y, and Z, and it's a thing. With where you have to learn, you learn so much not about the person but about life. Just understand that why did you fight? Why did you disagree? Because, like, granted, you trying to force somebody to say yes or something like that, 
is it going to help that person in the long run or nor so help you but understanding why that person think like that that shit helps you in the long run because one helps you understand like that i don't always got to be right or my certain way of thinking benefits me right and secondly it helps you with people and in, in life you're not going to find somebody that's always agreeable or you can always work with but you got to still deal with them and in, in, in a certain situation if you got a work life shit even if you trying to uh if you're trying to better yourself, you're trying to network. Everybody ain't gonna be the same way as you, but you gotta figure out something, right? You gotta learn, you gotta learn it. This you gotta learn how to maneuver, skills. man. These are life skills you're talking about right now. No fun. It is. And then in the Twitter, I just wanted to get on that. I think another thing we kind of grew apart from was um accountability, right? And it goes for social media. Certain shit that you do post that is I would say is um very uh demeaning, I would say, right? Or and and come with malicious intent. You gonna have to stand on that. I do I would say nowadays a lot of people use social media as like a as a safeguard, as a shield, where it's just like, bro, it's just social media. I'm just talking. Certain shit, right? Or and we already said people are sensitive, certain things need to be, you know, we don't have to get a reaction to everything. Certain shit requires a reaction whenever you become a malicious. But I think that as a culture and, and whole, we have to understand and determine what's malicious, what's not. What is something that we need to have to make a concern or what's not? Because a lot of things, we just try to put too much effort into making a bigger issue about something that's really not. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. somebody don't like, somebody don't like chicken. They'll be like, uh, I don't know, say something that somebody feels some type of way. We don't need to try to gang up and bash on them. How about you, if you feel some type of way? Hey, I don't know if you know what you're saying. Let me try to enlighten you. Now, they come different you, and they come different. Like, let me try to, like, make sure to put you on game. They come differently at you. Cool. Then you can just do whatever you want. But let's just take a step back to kind of, if they not coming maliciously, let's try to enlighten people. Let's try to educate them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, man. oh, my bad. Now I was just going to say this one thing. But if you is talking crazy on Twitter and if you <laughs> is talking crazy on the gram and all that, you, listen, you going to have to, you going to have to look 10 toes down and don't use that Twitter as an excuse. Because I'm tired of that shit. That's the only thing I'm tired of. What was you going to say, brody? I was just saying, hey, nigga, out. That's all. Just hey, here, here's up. But look, I ain't going to lie. This is, it's been a great episode, honestly, where it's just like, I feel as though we talked on a great, a lot of key points, a lot of things where it's just more of the story, hear people out, understanding, uh, understanding one another before you bash somebody. Everybody's not perfect. Somebody may say the wrong things. Some people might not say the things that you don't want to hear at the moment. Right. But at the end of the day, fully hear that person, fully understand that person because it's not more so for the betterment of that person, but more so the betterment of you. Being able to understand and see people, it's going to grow. It's going to allow you to go much further than a child to only go around people that's just similar to you and stuff. Maybe you can help us, you know, coexist, specifically for Black people, I ain't going to lie. L- literally. Maybe literally. If we can learn to respect each other's opinions and we may disagree on shit, or, you know what I'm saying, like we may look at things differently, I feel like we can grow. As honest. a black culture, our lifespan will be a lot longer. And that's me. That's me. One thing, nah, man time. One thing that we do, I feel like, and I feel like other people do it too, but it blow me when we do it. Damn, we some prideful ass niggas, man. Like uh-huh. we, some, we are prideful as fuck. Like if we feel a nigga playing with us, man, it's like you gotta die. Like I gotta show you how much of a, like, you know what I'm saying? How, how hard I go. Like, man, it's time to just be like, niggas just keep dying. And that's all that the result of it is. Like, we not even winning, like, in no way, shape, or form, because more black people are dying. So it's like, damn, shit is burnt. Literally. Like, and that's, and I think that's the sad thing about it, bro. We can't, as our culture, we can't come to a disagreement and just be like, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. Yeah. And go out separate ways. It's like, when we go to a disagreement, we got to fight about who's right. Or, or it got to be like a, a shootout. A, a pride, it's a, literally a pride battle. Yeah. Because if we not right, 
Nobody gonna be right. And don't let it be no girls around. I was I said, don't let it be no I girls said, around. This is what I said. <laughs> when the woman I involved, that's when the nigga goes, loses his mind. Like he loses his mind. Like all the common sense he has is out the window, man. Because you can't be a bitch. You and excuse my French ladies, but this how the, this how hey look, this is how we say it. You can't be a bitch in front of the bitches. You can't. Literally, and I, I ain't calling a bitch, but listen, that's how it goes, right? But literally, Ray Everson, right? If we put that pride to the side. Lifespan is a black culture, and the whole is increased. You got to roll you to that, man. For hey, real. man, but listen, man. Been another great episode, nothing but gems, man. We're going to make sure we get back to consistency. That's it's on me. I've been going through some things. I'm going to make sure, though, when we get back to it. Hey, D. Yeah,